raise your hands if you own a diffuser but you don't use it because they're such a pain to use these tools are supposed to make your life so much easier and they're supposed to cut down on your drying time however one of these things are so heavy and holding this up to your head for 20 30 minutes on wash day can be such a nightmare right so in today's video i share my hacks on how i use my diffuser and i feel like these tips and tricks really minimize that weight and really minimize the effort when you're diffusing Alright, so typically I do not diffuse my hair all the way through. I wait for it to be 90% dry and when I have like that one hour or half an hour left for my hair to dry, that is when I start diffusing. So I sit on the bed and cross my legs. I place the handle of the diffuser on my thigh. This way I'm easily able to hover diffuse the lengths of my hair by raising my head slightly higher or lower. I do exactly the same thing on the other side of my hair. So let's see that again. See how I can simply hold the neck of the diffuser and angle it to reach the inner sections of my hair. Now I want to switch to pixie diffusing. My hair is already 90% dry here, so it's easy for me to separate them into six sections. I'll keep three sections on each side. One, two and three. I'll lower one section at a time into the bowl of the diffuser and then I'm going to pixie diffuse. This way, I'm able to give equal attention to every single curl clump and not miss out on any. I'll place the diffuser in between my knees and hold it in position. Then, I'll lower one section of hair into the bowl at a time. And I'm mostly diffusing on the cool setting, which means the air that's coming out of the diffuser is not hot. If you want, you can switch the temperature to medium heat for a few seconds and then switch back ASAP or just hit the cool shot button. This will instantly bring the temperature down. When doing the middle and back sections, I'll just maneuver my arms out at an angle and reach those sections easily. For the back sections, I'll bring the diffuser in between my knees. Lower my hair into the bowl. and then place my elbow on my thigh. Angle my arms out and this way I'm able to reach the back sections with ease. I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. My back is completely straight, so it's not uncomfortable at all to diffuse this way. And since I only do this when my hair is 90% dry, it hardly takes me five minutes. Compared to diffusing from beginning to end, 
which would take me 20 to 30 minutes easily. At the end, I also bring all of my hair to each side and then pixie diffuse with my elbow on my thigh. This gives me a bit of root volume as well. Okay, now I'm done diffusing. I'm gonna scrunch out the crunch. I'm also going to shake and fluff out my roots. This is gonna give me some additional volume at my crown. All right, so that's pretty much it. This is how I diffuse my hair and this is what it looks like once I'm done. So if you enjoyed this video, then there's a very good chance that you might enjoy one of these. And feel free to go through my channel. You'll find so much content if you're interested in hair care.